right guys so today I'm going to be doing my July favorites video and I can't believe that the summer is almost over and I'm really sorry about all the ruckus you're gonna hear in the background apparently it's mowing your lawns and construction day in my neighborhood but anyways I wanted to just tell you guys that I can't believe summer's halfway over my vacation is coming up it's in a couple of weeks I'm really excited for that uh, but yeah I'm just gonna get into this video I have some makeup some hair care some skin care and some random food favorites of the month so I'm gonna just start with the makeup stuff my first July favorite are my new Electro Baby Lips, which are these right here. I think Maybelline has maybe like five or six of these. I don't know. My sister picked up all of them, but these are the two that I have. I have Fierce Tangy and Minty Sheer. They are very sheer colors, but I love these because they just do a really nice job at moisturizing your lips, and they smell really good. Like this one is a minty one, and it smells literally like mint gum, and then this one Fierce and Tangy, this one, it kind of smells like bubblegum. And for all of you who are baby lips lovers, aren't isn't this the cutest packaging ever? I have about six baby lips total now. I think I need to stop buying them, but they're just a really great product. You can pick them up at the drugstore. My next makeup favorite has been my CoverGirl Clump Crusher, Clump Crusher Mascara. So it comes in the green tube like this. I really like this mascara. It does a really nice job at curling my lashes because the wand has a little bit of a curve to it. This is actually supposed to be the waterproof version and I've noticed that this is not waterproof at all. I've taken a shower with this on and it comes right off. I've washed my face and it comes right off. So I wouldn't say this is the best waterproof mascara, but if you're looking for a really great day-to-day -day mascara, I highly recommend, highly recommend this one. I can't talk. And my last makeup product is kind of a rediscovery in my makeup, makeup collection. I've had this palette for a while now, and I just recently started using it again. And this is my Kat Von D Saint palette. So this is what it looks like. It's a cool, like, metal case. Um, but these are the shadows. Sorry, this is a really messy palette. I am just in love with this palette. I really like the color these two shades right here. They're really great all over the ledge colors. These eyeshadows are very easy to work with. They're very smooth and buttery. They don't crease on me. Um, the only thing is, is because they're shimmery eyeshadows, the palette gets kind of a mess, but I really love this palette and I'm so glad that I picked it up because it's a really good investment. Now, I'm going to move on to a skincare product and this is my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. Uh, I picked this up at Target because I was out of my Sephora Instant Moisturizer and I needed something in the meantime because I moved out about, um, it's almost going to be two months, it's crazy, uh, two months, and I needed to get something that was cheaper and this was like $3. I actually, I pretty much, this is a pretty good moisturizer. It does a good job at moisturizing my skin. It actually has salicylic acid in it, which is interesting because it keeps, it's supposed to help with acne. Um, as you can see today on my face, I have a big pimple that came up, but I feel like this does a pretty good job at moisturizing anyway, and it's really cheap, and I really like it, so <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Next, I have a face wash, and this is also a clean and clear product. This is the Foaming Facial Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. Uh, first of all, no, this product is not sponsored by Clean and Clear. I picked these up with my own money. I really like this. It's just a really basic cleanser to use. Um, it's for sensitive skin. It hasn't broken me out. It smells pretty good, and I use it every day in the shower, and I really like it. Not much too much else to say. Okay, and my last like makeup beauty related product is my, this is like a little sample size, but this is my Aveeno Nour Nourish and Moisturize Conditioner with Nourishing Wheat Complex and oat, oat Protein. So the story behind this is that I went to Bed Bath & Beyond with my mom and sister one time and we were just walking around because one of the, not every Bath and Bed Bath & Beyond has a beauty section, but the one up by me does and it's just got like eight rows of like beauty products. So I was like, you know what, I need a new conditioner. Let me get a sample one to try. So I picked this up. Uh, this is a really good conditioner. I found that it does not make my hair greasy. It really does a great job at conditioning my hair. It smooths my hair. It moisturizes. I wouldn't say that it really like helps with like breakage or anything but I really like this product um I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase a full size in the future but this has lasted me like I've had this for like a month now and I'm probably not even halfway through it it's really nice and I highly recommend you guys check out the Aveeno skincare products because they're a little bit different so there's that uh, my last two favorites I guess I'm going to include are my two food favorites first is I have the box for this. It's the Great Value Mountain Trail Mix. I picked this up at Walmart, and they're little packs of trail mix. 
Uh, I picked it up because I work all day long and I need to have snacks in my desk. So I bring these with me. It's got nuts in it. Let's see, it's got raisins, peanuts, M&Ms, almonds, and cashews. I really like the blend of the nuts. I don't like the raisins, but I like the nuts and the little M&M candies. It's a really good snack and it's pretty healthy for you. So I really like this. And then my newest and latest obsession, and a lot of you probably have heard about these because they're really yummy, are the Special K Cracker Chips Sour Cream and Onion. I had these once in my grandmother's house and I've never stopped eating them. Uh, my grocery store has them for two for five, so I pick them up whenever they're on sale. They're a really nice snack. They're basically a chip, except they're baked, so they're healthier for you. And as it says at the top here, 27 crackers is only 110 calories. So it's a really good snack if you're like trying to watch your diet, which I am. So these are really, really good. Um, other random favorites for the month. For TV shows, I have Pretty Little Liars and Switched at Birth. If you've never seen Switched at Birth, it's another ABC family show. It's actually on Netflix, and I highly recommend you check it out. It's a pretty interesting show. I'm not going to talk about it or anything, but basically two girls got switched at birth, so they grew up um, in the opposite fam with the opposite family. Uh, it's a really interesting show. It's pretty, it's, it's just really, it's a good show. I really like it. I highly recommend it. So that's all for my July favorites. I hope you guys are doing well and are enjoying your summer. And don't forget to check out my blog because I recently got a makeover. I'll leave the links below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>